armor's lighting up. Reacting to some signal close by. It's Arctech, right? Yep, it's designed to pick these old signals up. It could be an old arc. If it's untampered with, it might still have weapons and gear inside. You should really check it out. I came looking for a Dr. Kvasir here. There you are. 
Vineland, yes. I'm pretty much what's left of it. Hmm. You check out. Hold on, and I will let you in. Welcome, Ranger. Welcome. It's been too long since I played host to one of your... Dr. Anton Kvasir, genius scientist with a shifty past. Original archist, pre-Apophis. They say he worked for the Authority and helped create their mutant soldiers. Then he turned on his masters, joined the cause, fought alongside my folks in the Authority War. I'm not sure how I feel about mad scientists at this point, but I do need his help. It's, uh, it's an impressive setup, uh, Dr. Kvasir. Kvasir, yes, my lab suffices. Legs. <clears throat> My research used to be more mechanically inclined, but over time the machines, it turns out, fail. I prefer to rely now on genetically engineered solutions, simply because they can heal. Makes sense, I guess. I hope you don't mind, Walker, yes? I put your scan through my arc mainframe. I know you now. Your parents. Such a tragedy when they were lost. But Arvina Prowley took you in, no? She did. As if I was her own. But they killed her. They destroyed everything I ever knew. Dead? Oh no. She was... formidable. I was always hoping to, but alas, no. It was a massacre, an unstoppable force. Mutants, a new kind of creature. All tech and armor and guns, and huge, taller than any building. And they were led by a man, General Martin Cross. Oh, he is back then. It was to be expected. He meant his lapdog scientist, Dr. Bendros, were always hard at work on their longevity project. But you see, for that problem, I just might have some solutions. Solutions. I've got one for you. Project Dagger. Ah, you know. <laughs> yes, of course you do. Crowley must have told you already. It will be easy for me to do my part. The project was always equal parts action and science. 
Come back in about uh, oh, six years or so. Then I will have concocted the nanothrite reprogramming agent, or serum, as I prefer to call it. Whoa, did you just say six years? Yes, thereabouts. Science cannot be rushed. Uh, yes, it can, with better computing power. <sighs> but alas, my lab is old and tired. Only the elusive Eco-15 still in orbit could provide the computing power to speed up this process. The Ecopod's still in orbit? Been hearing about that since I was a kid. Yes, it was a miscalculation. It remained on the firmament as the others came tumbling down. If Eco-15 was to be forced down, I could tap into the processing power of that ancient supercomputer. Think of it. To siphon that brute computing force into my poor old laboratory. Is there any way to force it down? Hmm. Yes. It can be done from the Eden Space Center. Then I'll do it. Yes. Wait a minute. You knew I was going to volunteer to do it, didn't you? Yes. Destination reached. Nanotrite strains can grant you superhuman powers, but the arcs that held them have largely disappeared. I happen to have tracked one down not far from Vineland. I think you should investigate. Dr. Kvasir, about these nanotrite powers... Yes, many rangers in the past were wary of them, but you seem... unafraid. And for good reason. Why would you fear remapping your nervous system in unexpected ways? What? Oh, yes, the nanotrite strains were locked away in the arcs so as not to fall into the authorities' hands. They are highly powerful, unstable, and wonderful. 
Is there any danger in using them? Of course, but to defeat the authority, you must take some risks, no? You must become more than human. The rest, we can solve after our enemies. Gotta go. 